was you, you stupid fool? Did you really think you gonna hit me? Huh? Bam, bam, bam! Over. Very tactical performance for the 23-year-old out of the Dominican Republic. Bueno, en la pelea de Adorno, yo salí a demostrar de que yo solamente no soy un fajador, que yo también tengo boceo, domino la tres distancia y salí a demostrar al mundo que yo también tengo boceo y tengo un buen estilo. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So I was just watching the episode of Blood, Sweat and Tears on Top Rank's Boxing Channel with Shakur Stevenson versus Edwin De Los Santos. And when I was watching clips, they actually had highlights of Edwin De Los Santos sparring. And let me tell you, I was so impressed with Edwin Santos sparring that I haven't even finished watching it. I wanted to do a video to talk about it. Edwin is looking really sharp right now, guys. I mean, he's showing good foot movement. He's showing great defense. He's showing boxing ability. He's showing more than his power that he's known for. The episode just came out on Top Rank Boxing. You guys can go ahead and watch the full episode and you'll see the actual highlights of the sparring session. But I'm telling you guys, this is a real fight. This is a real, real fight. In fact, when all of the Three Kings had their last previous fights, you know, when Devin Haney was fighting Lomachenko, you had Shakur, I guess, versus Yoshino, and you had Javante versus Ryan Garcia. I told you guys, out of the three fights, I truly believe Devin Haney had the toughest assignment against Lomachenko. Well, now I'm telling you guys, I think Shakur Stevenson is going to have the toughest assignment out of the Three Kings when it comes to their next fights. In fact, there may be a chance that Santos is a tougher fight than Frank Martin would have been. The only fighter I could see being a tougher challenge than Edwin De Los Santos right now, at least on paper, would have been Vasily Lomachenko. I truly believe Santos is going to push Shakur Stevenson to his limits. This might end up being like a Floyd Mayweather Maidana fight, where Shakur Stevenson will be forced to be more aggressive because of Santos' pressure. Santos, he can box and punch, but I truly believe he's going to use his foot movement to cut off the ring and try to force Shakur Stevenson into a dogfight, at least in spurts. There's probably going to be other times where Santos is going to surprise Shakur and he's going to do a little bit of boxing. So I think this fight is going to have a little bit of everything, might even have some knockdowns. Watching this Blood, Sweat and Tears episode just got me a lot more excited to watch the fight. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling and inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.